Welcome to the best Airbnb ever. We have gotten into the jacuzzi and it is absolutely wonderful. This is a tough life. Yeah. My name's Hayden, and this is my husband, Aaron. And we're on a mission to visit every country in the world. From vegan food tours to adrenaline pumping activities, we do it all. And we love bringing you along for the adventure. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a minute of our journey. We've been exploring Guatemala for the past month. And today we're heading up to Lake Atitlan. Happy Thanksgiving! Today is Thanksgiving in the US and we have quite the feast planned for later this afternoon that we can't wait to show you. It is not a traditional American Thanksgiving so it's a little bit more local. Today we are in Guatemala and we're heading to Lake Atitlan but we're making a stop first at a Mayan ruin site called Ishimje. So we've been doing a lot of Mayan ruins lately and they all have their own pieces that are just like impressive. I mean, the fact that these are thousands of years old, uh, but you get a little spoiled sometimes when you go to places like Tikal or Chichen Itza, but it's still super impressive to just see the construction, how much of it's preserved and just continue to learn more about the history here. Which we're not going to do because we don't know anything about it. Which we're it. not going to do at Ishimche. <laughs> so it is kind of interesting just looking at how things are constructed and, you know, just learning from other sites. Like this looks like it would have been some form of courtyard with, you know, you'd have a temple or some sort of gathering place here and a gathering place here. My guess is that those are cardinal directions. Uh, generally, that's how they built their structures. So they probably would have gathered in here to listen to preachers or priests or, you know, ceremonial things. Um, human sacrifices. Human sacrifices, maybe. This is the classic period, so it's kind of getting into that uh, things were starting to get bad for the Mayans. And so, you know, probably started sacrificing people to please the gods because of the droughts. One thing I find really interesting is being able to see just how like nature has taken over these ruins and how they've only excavated, you know, like a, a small portion of it just to give you an idea. But like you can see behind me, there's just like a giant tree coming out of <laughs> out of this temple. If you had come across this, they would have just looked like mounds in the ground without any kind of like structure showing. Just trees grew out of it. <laughs> thing about this place is if you look at this one it looks like they really just kind of uncovered the bare minimum and you can actually kind of see parts of it like it looks like maybe the staircase peeking out of there so kind of a little different actually we're also really high up in elevation so this ruin site just seems a lot different than any of the other ones we've been to like we're it's like there's pine trees it's not as jungly as we're used to like it's it's just got a whole different vibe it's weird. It's kind of giving me California, like central coast, pine trees. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Kinda it's really different. Similar temperature. Yeah. Air, you know, it, I don't think that I, if you dropped me here blindly, I don't think I would say we're in Guatemala right now. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> We might have just missed like a traditional Mayan um, like ceremony. There's like leftover uh, smoke, and there's like a little altar with offerings and stuff right here. So 
So it's kind of unique. Oh, here's a big fire. No, no, no. No. So on the other side of this, there was like a big fire and like a couple of people standing around, but the lady yelled at me, told me I wasn't allowed to film. Oh well. So something neat was happening, but. You gotta respect the. Uh, uh, yeah, the culture. The ceremony and the culture. I'm fine with that. God, the, the road to get here was too much. It was really, really, really windy, and I just like fell asleep, and we're really high in altitude, and we have a friend. Hi. Hi. Hola. We don't have anything for you. You can sniff our stuff, though. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. And it turns out that the um, Airbnb we're staying in is like up some crazy one way, like super steep road. So we just got dropped off like on the side of the road here with all of our gear and we're just waiting. We're a little early to check into the Airbnb. So we'll be sitting here for like 20 minutes. Welcome to the best Airbnb ever. We are standing here on our porch, patio. Don't really know what to call it, doesn't matter. We've got a jacuzzi right here, but look at that view behind me. We are overlooking the lake. We've got three volcanoes that we can see, hoping that the clouds clear up. I think we're gonna have some fantastically magical sunsets here tonight. But let's check out the house. What a gorgeous view. So she's not super spacious, but who cares? Because again, the view. So we're standing right here in our kitchen. It's pretty compact, but it's got everything that we need. It's got a fridge, oven, toaster, coffee pot. So what more can you ask for? We're only here for a couple of days, but the bed looks like it's going to be super comfortable. It looks super plush. And again, it's staring right out the window, right over the lake. That's the bulk of the, the Airbnb. We do have a little bathroom in here. It's got this nice, like rustic rock wall. Shower is very nice and modern. It's got a nice waterfall shower head. Can't go wrong with a place like this. Now it's time to tell you about our Thanksgiving feast. We're having an empanada, empanada Thanksgiving. We ordered 20 empanadas. They gave us four extra, which means we have 24. We have 12 empanadas each. And it comes with this like really good chimichurri sauce and inside is vegan cheese and spinach. And we're just gonna house as many empanadas as possible. And that's what our Thanksgiving is. You know, we don't have, you know, fake meat or mashed potatoes or any of that, but we're gonna have our own little feast. I'm not mad about it, not mad. And then we're getting in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Hopefully the sunset's gonna be beautiful and I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> So, I'm not sure these got really all that crispy. They might be a little of a disappointment, but that's Thanksgiving for us because one year we burned our green beans that didn't have any, and one year we did. Didn't have any gravy. We didn't have gravy, so I think it's just appropriate if we screw up this year's Thanksgiving feast. So, you're gonna take a little chimichurri. The best part about these empanadas, they got a little, cr little crisp. Yeah. A slight crisp. They're not soggy. They look hot though. Oh hot. Oh hot. Oh, oh. Okay, they're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they came with um like some extra veggies in here too. Usually they're just spinach, but they've got like carrots and some other maybe like little bell peppers in there and vegan cheese. And the chimichurri sauce has like a little bit of a kick to it. It's like oh, a little bit spicy. And we're each gonna have a traditional <laughs> Guatemalan cerveza, a gallo. We only have one each, so that's, that's what we got going on. And then we're gonna eat these and then get in the jacuzzi because that's really the entire point of why we're here. <laughs> <sighs> Too much food. I probably could have just done with four, but then 
this one over here decided to quit at four and she was like help me out so i had to eat another one so i'm stuffed not quite sure i'm ready to get in that jacuzzi yet because of the chimichurri and just hot and everything but won't be long two hours later after we eat our feast we have gotten <laughs> into the jacuzzi and it is absolutely wonderful this is a tough life yeah just staring out over the lake looking at the gorgeous sun rays we've got parasailers or paragliders yeah. or whatever they're called paragliders paragliders heading out it's just it's incredible it's beautiful what a way to end the day eh? 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 when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Good morning so, this is the most beautiful lake like I've ever seen. This yeah. view here is just out of control. And we have just such perfectly clear skies right now. Like you can see everything. Every one of the volcanoes, all the rest of the volcanic land around us. It's just stunningly beautiful here. No clouds. But the whole reason <laughs> we came up here was we were going to go altitude diving. We were going to get a new diving cert certificate. We're trying to dive in as many countries around the world. And last night, late last night, we were kind of just made aware of the contamination and pollution problem in Lake Atitlan. Sewage problem. So <laughs> started doing some research and turns out like all of these towns have like open sewage systems that just kind of drain off into the lake. Um, more so really badly in the raining season but in 2009 the lake was actually deemed contaminated and polluted and it has a neurotoxin in it apparently all night long i've had the worst anxiety and i've just been like i don't want to go diving and shit <laughs> like i don't want to um so and we're sitting here this morning we, we woke up bright and early ready to go and we both were just like i don't i don't think it's worth it i don't think it's I don't want to go. I know we came all the way here. Yeah. And that was the whole point. And we brought all of our gear and everything, but just... There's one one rule. There's two rules. There's one rule that we really follow as divers is that anybody can cancel a dive at any time for any reason. Pretty much no questions asked. And it, when both of us feel pretty strongly that you know something's not sitting right, it's probably best to just cancel it. So it's a bummer but maybe we'll have to do some coastal diving here in Guatemala. Yeah, some other time.